So today, this is part one of the new series of Stack Attack, and we're concentrating on the 750. The 750, which I recently um, picked up um, just before, I mean, just before Christmas, was it, or just after Christmas? I think it was. Uh, no, it was just after Christmas, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. Um, so I've got two albums here. Uh, I've not looked through them. Uh, I have looked through a, a few of them, but not many, uh, as I wanted to really do them all on camera, so you get my reaction to whatever we find. This two, these two uh, albums, I want to get these sorted out because I don't like 78s inside old albums. They tend to get broken if you're not careful. So we're going to go through these first and see what we have got. So. Happy New Year to everyone again, and let's get going. Right, so we'll move, we'll open this. No, we'll do, we'll do this one here, because I think there's, there's less in this one. Right, so, oh, Parlophone. Right, so let's uh, see how I can do this. I'm be so careful. Uh, right, so we've got a nice part. Oh, oh, ho, ho, look at this. I've got this one. I've got it. It's Sorry, Big Spider Beck. On the other side, at the Jazz Band Ball, classic, and uh, uh, I've had three of these, and uh, but I've got one somewhere. So I think this one, yeah, I'll keep, obviously being a kept, I'm going to keep it. Now I was going to say to you, I was going to keep, I usually do keep, rejects, and um, uh, listen to's, but I'm not going to do any listen to's, it's only going to be purely keep and reject, because it's getting a bit complicated now in the, in the shed. With so many 78s about that I, I can't keep three separates going so we're just going to do that at the moment but don't worry the listen, the listen to late night listenings are still going to be uh, carrying on anyway let's move on to the next one another parlophone oh and it's cracked it's got a crack oh it's an it's a copy sorry and Big Spider Becker at the Jazz Band Ball but it's got a a nasty crack running all the way through it there there yeah, can you just about see that i think you can but it's nasty so it's not really you know have i've already got two copies a cracked one i don't really need so i'm going to put that on the reject pile right we've got another one here parlophone let's hope this is not cracked no it seems to be okay boogie woogie player uh boogie wiggy player part one and uh part two by um mead lux lewis pete johnson uh, yeah i'll let you have a look anyway hope you can see that and that's the other side well that looks interesting mead lux lewis peter johnson well that's going to be good now these of course haven't got any I just realised I haven't got any uh, uh, sleeves, obviously, so I'm going to have to put them somewhere safer. So I'm going to put them over over there. I'm putting them on the uh, on my other side where I usually do all the gramophone stuff. This is the wrong side of the shed, really, but there we go. Ah, oh, this one looks nice. Let's hope it's safe. Oh, yep. Yeah. Knocking a jug. Louis Armstrong and his orchestra. Now we'll get. This is some good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> um, High tension by Lewis Russell and his orchestra. Wow! Now you see. So the more really good stuff I get, the the more the hundred pound uh, is is proving uh, to be good value. Um, but I have actually got something else which I might show you, which I'm going to sell definitely on eBay to get some money back. And it's not a 78. Right, we have a BD label here. Oh, some empty sleeves. And a BD label. HMV BD labels. Eddie, oh, Eddie Dutchin and his orchestra. I've got a feeling you're fooling. And on the other side is, um, you are my lucky star. Again, Eddie, is it Duchin or Dutch? Duchin, is it? Something like that, anyway. And his orchestra. Well, I don't know if I've heard of this guy. Well, I'm going to put him on the uh, keep pile. 
So, so far, we've only got one reject, and that's only because it's broken. Right, this is the last, I think this is the last one in this album. And who have we got here? Uh, uh, Whistling Blues, Mead Lux Lewis. That sounds interesting. And Honky Tonk Train Blues. Oh, yes. Yes, I like the sound of this, definitely. I think I might even know this, but I'm not 100% not sure. Mead Lux Lewis, definitely keep. So that's going on the keep pile. I'm going to have to find some sleeves for those. Yes, well, there's the album. First album, so we get that out of the way. Let's have a look at this second album. And on the second album, it's, uh, it's Master's Voice album, and it's got three... These three is Master's Voice presentation records will give you some idea of the vast storehouse of recorded music which you may enjoy at will. Music you selected yourself. Ah, indeed. Oh, got a nice Columbia here. Oh, sleeves come out actually. That's a sleeve, proper sleeve that. So, so what we got here? Oh, it's a Frank Sinatra. You'll never know, and on the other side is Sunday, Monday, or always. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's a Frank Sinatra, and I shall keep it at the moment, because I do need to go through my Frank Sinatras and get rid of the ones I don't want, but it's a nice Columbia one, and I think these are the more sought after. Are they not? Maybe I'm wrong there. Oh dear, another Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I don't mean oh dear, oh dear in such a way as a letdown, but... I prefer the jazz, more, the more earlier jazz, proper jazz, you know. Uh, Frank Sinatra is, uh, he's okay, but it's not what I'm really looking for. So, Saturday night, and on the other side is um, Embraceable You. Yeah, that's a classic, isn't it? Not one that I'm particularly fond of, <laughs> I have to say. But again, I'll put it on the keep pile. Uh, now, what's this, another sleeve? with another Frank Sinatra? Oh, yes, it is. The stars will remember. And on the other side, the coffee song. Ooh, interesting, the coffee song. Don't know if I know that, but I, I know a few of them, actually. As I say, I, I, I know the Sinatra classics, so I'm not really that up on other stuff. But anyway, anyway, right now we are in to the actual album. So let's see what we got. Another Frank Sinatra, <laughs> a lovely way to spend an evening. And on the other side is, I couldn't sleep a wink last night. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> on the keep pile, for the moment. <laughs> um, is this going to be an album full of Frank Sinatras? It looks like it could well be, actually. Nancy. And on the other side is, a friend of yours. Sung by Frank Sinatra. Ah, I was hoping for something a bit more special than this. Another Columbia sung by Frank Sinatra is five minutes more. And on the other side is Try a Little Tenderness. Uh, begin the Begin is a classic by Sinatra. And all through the day. Mm. Yes. Well, I, <laughs> yes. Okay. So now I'm going to have to increase. I've already got a large collection of uh, Sinatras. And now it looks like I've got an even bigger one. But I have got an idea where I can put all these. Oh, what it seemed to be. And on the other side is homesick. That's all. Hmm. Right. Okay, and this is the last one in the album, and it's going to be another Sinatra, which it is. Someone to watch over me, and I dream of you. Right, well, if there's any rare ones in there, let me know in the comments below. But, uh, yeah, it started off great with the first album, but it went a bit downhill for me on <laughs> with all the Frank Sinatras. I'm not a massive, massive fan. I just like his classics, really. Um, so I'm a bit of a occasional 
Sinatra fan, if you know what I mean. Right, well, thanks for watching this, and I'll get back to you with another stack attack uh, in the future. And just for now, I'll say ta-ta, and once again, Happy New Year.